Some people might think it's footy finals time, but it's really racing finals time. And Michael Kent will be hoping that he might have one or two that can have an impact this spring. And uh, we're going to have a quick update with Mick uh, for all his uh, valued stable clients on two or three of the more interesting runners from the stable. Mick, uh, absolutely, she's likely to run this Saturday. Yeah, yeah, no, she pleased me first up. Um, done really well since, and um, you know she'll go around Saturday. I'll nominate for both races, the stocks and the dado, and and make a decision on t tomorrow which way we go. But uh, yeah, no, she goes there and onto the Turnbull, and yeah, at the moment she's going really well. You feel she's come on a little from her three-year-old season? Yeah, she's certainly physically improved, and and then she needed to because she was a very lean mare. She's not like some of those old geldings who, who need five or six runs. You know, she'll have a reasonably light prep into the Caulfield Cup and. Um, very athletic sort of mare. Yeah, no, really pleased. And she has put some weight on. She's put it 20 kilos heavier than last year. So, uh, yeah, no, all, all's looking good so far. It usually takes until probably mid-September until we get a handle on on the horses coming back for the spring. But at this stage, the, the three-year-old form from last season looks to be OK. I mean, is it possible that absolutely could be competitive in one of the really big races? Well, yeah, it looks it looks that way. I, you know, lots of heaven was disappointing on the weekend, although I don't think the trainer's too worried about her. And that was a form line we were going on, but just going on the way she ran first up at Wait for Age, you know, for a three-odd filly to run, go on to Wait for Age and run as well as she did. Well, I think, you know, that she's certainly got it, you know, she's certainly going to be thereabouts. There's a race for her somewhere in the spring for sure. Interesting newcomer to the stable is a horse called Unusual Suspect. What can you tell us about him? He is an unusual suspect, yeah. No, he's a Hollywood Gold Cup winner. Um, he's here for the Melbourne Cup. Um, he's he's uh, he's going quite well. You know, often the American horses haven't worked well here, but he's been here a long time and it's fully acclimatised. He buried trial particularly well last week. Uh, he'll start off with the naturalism probably. He's sort of got a 108 rating, so it's hard to run him in a handicap at this stage. And then we'll probably head towards a Bart Cummings on one of those races with him and and maybe a Mooney Valley Cup into the Melbourne Cup. But um, he, he's really pleased me, actually. Um, he, you know, he actually has won a Group 3 over 1,200 metres, so he's not hopelessly slow. But um, he, he shows good staying ability, and um, even though he's had a lot of racing and he's an older horse, um, he's, uh, he's in good health and in good form. Speaking of the Cups, a ruptious, didn't run on the weekend, and he's got to progress from winning at a you know, lesser level through the winter, but he looks a legitimate stayer. Yeah, no, I really like this horse, good stay. Yeah, he had a little issue. I'm disappointed I missed running him Saturday. He had a little muscle in his shoulder, which is... Uh, just a niggle, and I just felt it was better that to, to miss the run than to, to cause any further damage. It's responded to treatment. Um, look, I'll enter him for Saturday, and I may have to take a different path with him. But, yeah, no, I, I think there's a nice race for him. He certainly run two miles uh, very well. I guess he's just got to get into the race, and he's got to win his way into the race. So, um, But he's had had a nice, uh, nice background prep, and um, he just needs to sort of hit form at the right time, I guess. My Bentley did run, did resume on Saturday. Showed a little turn of foot from about the 400 to the 200. Yeah, interesting, wasn't it? Uh, James McDonald had his first ride on him and he bounced him out the gates and had him on the on the spot. And at 600, he thought he was going to win the race and he was looking to get off the fence. And That track was firmer out wide on Saturday, uh, so I think it was a slight advantage to be out there. But he ran out of his skin, really, to run at wait for age, you know, and uh, and, sh and shoot on the fence and look, look a winning chance, 100 out. Um, yeah, no, really pleased. He's, he's come back as good as ever had him. He's, um, even though he's seven, he feels like he's just matured and he's always had little issues. And this year so far, he's trouble free. So, yeah, no, I think he's, um, he's on track for a nice, uh, nice campaign again. Quick word on Doomsky. Probably needs to find tracks with a little bit of give. Yeah, look, uh, we're sort of, uh, we, we, you know, that's right. Uh, he's much better when he gets on a bit of soft ground and he hasn't found much in his career. Uh, he runs at the Valley on Saturday. And then he'll end up at the JRA Cup. But he's, if you get him on soft ground, he's a very capable horse, you know. So we're hoping that some stage for the spring we get a wet track with him. But we haven't got any fixed plans where he ends up. But our first target will be the JRA Cup, which is in, uh, he runs on Saturday, then three weeks into that on that Friday night. So we're, we're going to keep him at Mooney Valley, um, which we think is, and after that race, we'll see whether we go country cups with him or whether we look to some of the bigger handicaps. And the Farlap Stakes winner from the autumn, Blackie, how's he progressing? Yeah, he's come up really well, although we had an issue with him about a month ago. He got cast in his box and he's, you know, he, he sort of had some bruising to a to the bone in his hind leg and it's taken a while to settle down and he, he will have, have to plan to run him last Saturday. Um, he trialled, trialled well, but we just thought it would give him an extra week. He's probably likely to resume this Saturday in a six furlong race, uh, which is not usually his go, but we just need to get him moving. But yeah, looking forward to getting him into some of those bigger mile handicaps later on.